Hi everyone, my name is Simon O'Brien and welcome to my death battle prediction video for Thanos from Marvel Comics vs Darkseid from DC Comics. Now, this is going to be a straightforward prediction video. I'm not going to go too much depth for both Thanos and Darkseid because it's going to take a long time to do it. I mean, they've done a lot in their comic book lifetime. So what I'm going to do is go into a more general approach of the fight and who do I think is going to win. So, let's get started. For strength... Thanos is actually extremely strong. He has defeated the likes of Thor, Hulk, and many of the Marvel heavy hitters, even Celestials in battle. So, he is pretty strong, in, like, probably multi-solar system level at best, or depending on what you're going to scale him to, because Thanos has defeated a goddamn amount of people in Marvel. So, yeah, that is that. So... Durability is another strong point for Thanos. He has tanked hits from, like, again, Thor and Hulk, and he's he should be more durable than he is strong because he has mainly endured a lot of punishment over the years, and sometimes he even nullifies it completely. Like, one time, Silver Surfer used an energy projectile against him, and Thanos did nothing at all. Like, it didn't hit Thanos at all, or at least didn't harm him. So, that is pretty good. And he's also tanked hits from Mjolnir by an enraged Thor, which also just barely scratched him and dented him at all. So that alone is pretty good as well. And he even tanked punches from Hulk, who he was, I was really mad at this point. So I assumed that his strength level was pretty high as well. So for Thanos to endure a lot of punishment, that is really impressive. Now, for speed... Thanos doesn't really have too many speed feats that are like, he doesn't run like as fast as say Quicksilver, but what he mainly has is a teleportation skill, which is really handy in this fight actually. And what he can do is just teleport right behind you and do a sneak up or a backstab or a backhand. It'll be, it's pretty awesome what he can do with teleportation. So yeah. And for weapons, Thanos is known iconically with the Infinity Gauntlet, which is actually going to be a huge game changer here, depending on what they do for the fight. Because the problem with the Infinity Gauntlet here is that it is only able to work within the Marvel Universe and nothing else. So, whether or not it's going to be a factor in the death battle, I am not sure. But for the sake of it, let's say if it does work. It probably might help Thanos here a lot. It depends on what they're going to do with it first. But, that is not even Thanos' most powerful weapon. His most powerful weapon that he uses is the heart of the universe, which allows him to become the ultimate being of the Marvel Universe, and it is so powerful, it actually caught the attention of the Living Tribunal, and it... And the Living Tribunal is a, basically one of Marvel's most powerful characters. Like, he is omnipotent and for him to fear the the heart of the universe like that that just speaks a lot of volumes so that sounds impressive but the problem is it's non-canon so it's a different universe that Thanos was in so whether or not it's actually going to be included in the fight I highly doubt it will because if it did then probably would give Thanos the win instantly like the fight would be over, no matter how hard his opponent would try to be, which I will go go to into Darkseid. Now, for Darkseid, his strength feats is actually surpasses the likes of Superman. And Superman is stated by Death Power to have limitless strength. So, I'm not sure if I can agree with that, but whatever. So, and he also has defeated Superman lots of times. Like, he's one of the few characters that Superman had trouble with, aside from Doomsday, and Lex Luthor if he had prep time. So, Darkseid is extremely powerful. So, he has the strength advantage over Thanos, in my opinion. Now, speed. Darkseid has a lot of speed feats, actually. I mean, he has perceived the actions of the Flash, I believe. And he even has caught up to the Flash as well. And even tagged him. So, that is... Pretty, pretty powerfully impressive. Considering that the Flash is possibly the fastest comic book character in existence, really. There is no comparison against the Flash if he's running that fast. And for Darkseid to actually 
grab him at one point. That is pretty impressive. Now, for durability, Darkseid is extremely tough. Like, tanking hits from Superman and Wonder Woman and Shazam and even Martian Manhunter, he has tanked a lot of crap. I mean, this guy is a living monster. Like, he... The whole Justice League at one time tried to beat him and he actually beats them anyway. So, there's the... There's the huge difference in durability for Darkseid and Thanos. Like, we got one character who's so durable that the heavy hitters actually try to take him down and does nothing. And then we got one character who has the entire team of heavy hitters and possibly the most iconic superhero team ever, aside from the Avengers, trying to take him down. And he does it, he just backwhacks them like living pulp. So, Darkseid should comfortably get the durability edge. Just, it depends on what Death Battles are going to interpret it, though. Because this is a different type of dark side we're talking about. I haven't even talked about, like, his ultimate forms, like true dark side, which makes him near omnipotent. So, that is pretty powerful. And the non omnipotent stuff that dark side has is, in my opinion, more impressive than he had as, say, his anti-life equation. I mean, speaking of the anti-life equation, that's like, it's basically a mathematical process that they have in the DC that allows everyone to go insane and basically hurts them in inner souls and all of that. So, the anti-life equation, unlike the Infinity Gauntlet, can be used in any universe. Like, there is no limitation to it. So, that puts the anti-life equation for more versatility over the Infinity Gauntlet, in my opinion, because it can work in multiple universes, whereas the Infinity Gauntlet only works in the Marvel Universe. So, well, the Infinity Gauntlet, in my opinion, has more power. Has more power. So, it depends on what the Death Battle is going to portray it as, okay? So, who I think is going to win? It all depends on what Death Battle gives to both Thanos and Darkseid. So, the problem here is that most of Thanos' weapons only work within the Marvel Universe, and his best weapon, the heart of the universe, is non-canon to his real source material. So, there goes his best chance of winning. But can he still win this? Possibly. But, if we go for base stats, I actually did not mention one ability that could change the entire course of this fight. Dark Size Omega Beams. Now, these Omega Beams are so fast, they can even tag the Flash. And these Omega Beams can also phase through force fields and all that. It has been shown to actually harm and remove Superman from battle at one time. And Omega Beams, they don't miss. They don't miss. The only way that they don't hit their intended target is they, if you go back to Dark Side and then somehow phase through him and it'll hit him anyway. So... I'm not sure if it happened, but that's what I think would have happened. So, then, yeah, the Omega Beams can do whatever what Darkseid wants them to do, like erase you from existence, take you to another spot that you'll never come back from, and, yeah. So, these Omega Beams are pretty OP, and they are, they are going to change the course of this battle if Death Battle doesn't even include the Infinity Gauntlet. Let's just say the Infinity Gauntlet is included. Will it work? Against Darkseid? Obviously. However, the only problem I have with that is that it will only work in the Marvel Universe. So, it all depends on what Death Battle is going to portray the whole fight is. Because they go for the most likely outcome, I am comfortable to assume it might not work in some outcomes, but it will work in some outcomes it, because of the specific circumstances. And... Ultimately, I will side with Dark Side for now, but it all depends on what they do with the Infinity Gauntlet. Because that, that artifact is extremely powerful, like extremely powerful. It's more powerful than the Anti-Life Equation, but the Anti-Life Equation is more versatile, like I said before. So, yeah. That's my prediction. I'm going to side with Dark Side. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have a good day.